Agora TV. The world is thinking. One of the things that I looked at was Facebook and MySpace, and I said, well, all it's doing is giving people the opportunity to have their 15 minutes of fame. And uh, to so it, it, a lot of the, uh, the technology and the technological uh, innovations are really based on human nature and some different uh, human tendencies. Uh, can you speak to some of the other trends that you see that uh, are human nature that will uh, will drive some other types of uh, needs or act, uh, uh, um, opportunities. Yes, and I agree with you. And what I'm seeing is that the constructs behind human interaction and behavior are all more or less the same. We like to talk to each other. We like to communicate with uh, people who have similar interests and so on. And what's happening is that the internet is letting us break the time and space constraints that we've had. So for instance, um, I'm interested in textiles from a particular region, um, let's say in Uzbekistan. And I would never be able to connect to a person with a similar interest um, within my own circle of friends. But now with the internet, I can. And um, in, in, in very, many ways what's happened is people are doing the same things that they used to do. They would gather under a tree, uh, you know, mm -hmm. whenever, or you would make phone calls and they would be the party line and so on. And they're doing the same things. They're just doing it differently. They're doing it across the globe. They're doing it asynchronously, which is, you know, sending email, getting things back on at a different time instead of having to do everything at the same time. So uh, I agree with you. I don't think the fundamental human constructs change. Go, I mean, you, yeah. you would go to the library. You don't have to go to the library anymore. You would look up uh, 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 the, an, an encyclopedia. Now we, we have the great Wikipedia online. Same kinds of things, just more convenient uh, mm -hmm. with a lot more people. I, I, I just add just to that. You know, there's a whole sort of burgeoning field of behavioral economics. Sort yeah. of why yes. people do these things and um, you know, someone I think is very smart, uh, Max Levchin over at Slide, you know, he said, well, Blaze, it's all about, you know, uh, seven vices, seven virtues. You know, how many quarters did you put into, you know, asteroids as a kid to get your initials on, on, on the screen? It, it's, that's ego, you know, that's, to, that, that's a driver. But you so, see, same thing on yeah. Farmville. Yeah. What's, what's interesting, though, is you, you get distributed. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, in the old days, I was where I was, and now, with Facebook, I can be on other people's walls. And so to me, it's it's kind of like, you know, the sexual urge is around getting your genes everywhere. And the intellectual internet urge is somehow getting your memes or your, your presence, your identity spread all over the yeah. place. And it's, it's fascinating to watch. And it's amazing what people will do for that. And to me, the whole notion of game dynamics being applied not just to Farmville, but more to either to business work or to social effort. And I don't mean simply raising money for something by playing a game next to advertising, but how can you actually create those game dynamics around doing useful things and create transparency, not just for giving money, but for how it's invested?